Hi everybody, it's Natalie here. In my last video, I was talking to you about the many and beautiful benefits of the herb rosemary. So today I have brought my little rosemary plant back again. And I've got a few other things. So today I was thinking I would talk you through the very easy recipe to make a rosemary wine. Now, the reason for making this, as I said last time, is that it, rosemary is a really good memory booster and it's even effective for people suffering with dementia. So one of the ways that this can be taken is as a wine after your evening meal. So with the rosemary in hand, I also have a, a jar here with a lid because it'll take about two weeks until it's complete. So I have already pre-sterilised the jar. I took off the lid first and boiled that separately. And the jar I washed and then I put in the oven on 120 degrees for about 20 minutes. So it's fully dry and it's sterilised and there's no germs or bacteria that are present before I get started with this process. Another item I'm going to need is a bottle of white wine. So basically, I have got some scissors and I have already chopped off just a few small sprigs of rosemary. I've washed them and then I'm just going to dry them with some kitchen roll. And that process of drying, the way I'm just scrunching it together here, it will gently bruise the rosemary sprigs and that in turn will help release some of the, the oils inside when it goes into the wine to sit. So having just those few simple items to hand is all you need to start your rosemary wine. So I'm going to open this bottle and the wine here. So easy. More is the preparation time and kind of cleaning and sterilising than the actual process of this. So I'm going to fill this. There we go, so it's got a nice volume in that bottle. It's not a very big bottle, it probably holds about 300 millilitres or thereabouts, but you can do whatever size you want um, according to how much of it you think you might want to use. And then once I've got my wine in there, I'm just going to pop the bruised sprigs of rosemary inside, like so. Okay, so I've got those inside and I've got a lid, which I can just fasten here. And I'm just gonna invert it a few times to make sure that the sprigs are all in there, sitting there. And now I'm gonna keep that out of the sunlight, probably just somewhere in my kitchen or in the cupboard um, for two weeks. And daily, I will just give it a little inversion like that, make sure that the, the wine and the rosemary is mixing well and I'll leave it for two weeks, after which time I will use. I'll have a small glass of wine with that in the evening after my meal. Mm. So that is just how easy it can be to make some of your own home, rem home remedies which can be beneficial for whatever it is you're looking for. In this case, a little memory booster. And um, I hope that serves you well today. And if you have any other questions or herbs you'd like me to look at in future, please do let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna see more of my talks, please like and subscribe.